One of the really good features of the scan and cut is that you can use any papers, the ones that you actually thought were on scraps, and they, and they come to life. Let me show you how. So I have two bits of paper here which have bits, bits cut out of them. They're, yep, probably could end up in your bin, but no, they have a new life. So I'm going to put them onto the um, tacky mat. Once again, doesn't overly matter where because the machine's going to um, scan it. I'm going to use the um, pattern section. I press on pattern and the machine comes with lots of different patterns loaded for us and they're put into different files which we can see as different pictures. I'm pressing on this one and I'm going to choose in this case to cut an apple. So I'm going to click on the group that has an apple. Okay, so let's get the apple. Now I'm going to choose the green cutting leaf and I'm going to press OK. I don't want to change the size of that. And I'm going to press Add, which means I'm adding it to the file of things that I'm going to cut. I'm now going to click on the apple, the red body of the apple. I'm going to click OK. I am happy with on the size. As you can see here, we can also change the number of apples, but in, but in this case, I only want to use one apple. So our cutting file now has a leaf there and an apple. But as you obviously know, we want to have different colors. So this is where a really terrific feature is. I can scan my background. So I'm going to press on scan my background and then I'm going to press this. So it scans through. Now you can see we have the scan picture of the um, paper and we have the images here. So I'm going to pull the image to where I want it. I'm going to get my Apple image and I'm going to pull it here. So I'm obviously not going to pull it over the space where I have holes in my paper. And I'm going to get the little leaf image and I'm going to place it here. So voila, I don't have to cut it twice because it's different colours and I'm also using paper which, which I might have thought of as scrap. I'm really happy with that so I'm going to press OK and I don't want to draw it, I want to cut it. So let's cut. Click on the cut icon, click on the cut button. different bits that I didn't want to use. I have my perfectly cut apple and somewhere down here I will have a perfectly cut stalk. Okay, perfect, beautiful. And here's a little duck that I cut out just as quickly earlier on. <laughs> 